Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer and today I want to talk about something I've got a couple questions on Twitter about and on my YouTube channel. A couple guys have asked exactly how do I hook up my Rock Band uh, 3 game to my sound system. I know I've shown some videos where I've shown you what kind of micro amp I use and how everybody plays with headphones. But exactly, how do I hook everything up? Uh, now, I'm going to show you how to do it for the Xbox 360. It's pretty much the same for the PS3 as well. When I used to play on the PS3, I had a very similar setup. So let me show you how I hook up my sound system to my Xbox. Alrighty, so this is what I use to play Rock Band 4. This is uh, my Xbox 360 right here. I've also, oops, I guess I turned it on accidentally. Oops. So that's my Xbox 360. And I've also used this sound system on my PS3. It works pretty much the same on both consoles. But right now I'm playing custom, so I'm using the Xbox 360. And I, I hook it up to a Logitech Z906. It's a great sound system. It's a little expensive. It cost me about $400, I think, or $500. That was two, three years ago. The price may have come down. Now, you don't need to spend that much money to get it to work like this. I had a Logitech, I think it was a Z506, which is a much cheaper option. It works the exact same way. Of course, the quality of the audio when you're looking up to your computer doesn't necessarily sound the same, but it works great for Rock Band. And you know, the, the way it works is for the Xbox 360, unlike the PS3, PS3 you hook up your component cables to the back of the subwoofer. Um, with the Xbox 360, I never had component cables, so you just I just bought an optical out uh, you know, audio cable, which right here, you can get one for the PS4, so I imagine one should be available for the Xbox One, so when Rock Band 4 comes out, you can have a similar kind of setup. So what I do is when I hook it up from here to the subwoofer, I also have my electronic drum kit, which is where I route all my audio through, so let me show you how that works. I should have mentioned is that uh, before you start connecting stuff to your drum kit, you're going to need an auxiliary, one of these, you know, audio jacks. It's like a three and a half millimeter audio jack. It's pretty much the same at both ends, and you plug it into the control state unit for the Logitech Z906. If you look right here, there's like uh, two little plugins. You plug it into the top plugin, and the other end of that audio jack plugs into the mix-in uh, port on your TD9 brain. That's what I use the TD9. If you have a TD12, it's probably something similar. So let's take a look now. This is my drum brain. This is a Roland TD9. And what I did is I brought that auxiliary cable that I showed you guys, and I plug it into the mix-in port right here. Uh, now, I have a splitter because um, I also want to split the audio between my micro amp and my drum brain. So what this allows me to do is my drum brain, when I'm playing my drums, will actually sh um, have the game's audio coming through and I can play my drums on top of it. But what the micro amp lets me do is it lets people who I'm playing with also hear the game's music, but they don't hear my drums. Now if you want the people you're playing with to hear your drums, all you have to do is just take the splitter, take the splitter out, leave the auxiliary cable that's coming from the sound system and leave it plugged in the mix in, but take the auxiliary cable I'm sorry, take the splitter and plug it into the headphone jack at the bottom of the Roland uh, brain and then plug your micro amp into that, into that splitter. And that's basically how you can route all your audio, you know, through a sound system for Rock Band. Uh, I hope that video was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if you guys want to see the date in the latest Rock Band 4 Guitar Hero Live and Amplitude News, be sure to click the subscribe button. Take care.